Hello friends, I am Amir Anwar Nizami and today we are going to solve an another problem of beam. So we will solve it in Abacus. So beam solution in Abacus. Let's start. So let us see the problem. So this is a, a beam where, where support A is hinged and support E is fixed. So we can see that here it is having one reaction so vertical because all the forces are vertical no horizontal forces so we are not countering the horizontal so therefore one reactions from here and uh, two reactions means uh, if you consider we can also consider the horizontal reactions but if two reactions and here three reactions means five reactions overall and equilibrium equations are three so five minus three two so degree of indeterminacy is two here but hence there is no horizontal forces acting so therefore we will just consider a one reactions at this position okay and uh, two reactions here so uh, three we are having three unknowns and equilibrium equations would be reduced by two so therefore degree of indeterminacy would be degree of indeterminacy will be three minus two that would be equals to one so it should be very clear that whenever no load are given if and only if the general case were given that this is a beam where one end fixed and one end is, is hinged and when we have to see that whether the degree it is determinate or indeterminate structure and if it is indeterminate then what is the degree of indeterminacy then we will take the general load cases because we know that the load can be inclined so it may be inclined load can be vertical it can be having the components vertical components and the horizontal components so therefore it will just produce a reactions here so therefore number of reaction at the hinge support would be two one support one reactions would be vertical and another reactions would be horizontal here and here one reactions would be vertical would be third and one reactions would be horizontal both and one moment would be induced which would be fifth reactions so in general cases when no load has been applied we have to consider the general load case so the worst case we can say or critical case so that we can get the degree of indeterminacy here would be the total number of reaction is 5 r is equals to 5 and equilibrium equation equals to 3 so r minus e which is 5 minus 3 so we will get 2 degree of indeterminacy so two compatibility along with the equilibrium equations two compatibility equations are required to solve this problem but here when we will see this problem so no horizontal components are visible here only the vertical forces are acting in the moments so we know that no horizontal reactions would be developed so therefore if no reactions would be a horizontal reactions would get developed then what we can say we can just uh, see one thing that it will give one reactions here which would be the vertical reactions and no horizontal reaction would be produced because no horizontal forces are acting so another would be here vertical reactions which would be two and one moments would get induced here which would be three so total number of unknown reactions are three and equilibrium equations because here we are not summing the horizontal forces we are just summing the summation of y fy vertical forces and summation of moment equals to zero so two equilibrium equations would be here so therefore degree of indeterminacy would be r minus e so total number of unknown reaction is three minus two that would be equals to one so the degree of indeterminacy of this structural beam is one so we should understand this thing that when no load case is there we take the worst cases of the load generalized case that what's the maximum possibility so therefore for that two degree of indeterminacy would be there but here no components are broken in the horizontal directions or no forces acting in horizontal directions so therefore the degree of indeterminacy is reduced by one and that is degree of indeterminacy is only one so along with the equilibrium equations one more uh, one more equations which is called the compatible equations or compatibility conditions compatibility 
conditions will be required will be required to solve this problem okay so we will solve this problem in abacus so let us start it so we will go to abacus and first we will save save model can't and one end is cantilever and another end is simply supported so we are just saving in this name okay now let's start so first of all we will go to the parts create a part and we will just select 2d planner deformable structure and we will select wire and uh, our notation so we will take it 20 for our convenience okay now we'll select this point which is create isolated points so we will just uh, see let us see one thing we have to see here that uh, here this is the moments acting which is acting in the clockwise direction it is nothing but a, con a concentrated moments acting here so that the magnitude is written here basically it should be so shown like this only but here even though in the book it has shown like this that a force would be acting so that it would just convert this so we we have to only think that a moment concentrated moment in a clockwise direction is acting here okay so we don't have to get worried about that and one concentrated force is acting in the vertical directions at this position so we have to choose a minimum number of parts of the beam so one part would be this part l1 where this moment is acting concentrated moment another part will be this part where this concentrated force is acting and then the rest part we can choose okay so we can choose the rest part and we can also do one thing that at this position to this position we will isolate this part and then another part where the distributed forces are acting so we will just select one two three and four so we will create four points because we know that in finite element uh, abacus is a finite element package software so we know that the minimum number of elements are required for wherever there is the uh, concentrated force or moments are acting so there we have to into introduce a nodes there so we have to introduce here the nodes and at this position there is a uh, distributed load so at this end we have to introduce one nodes and at this end we have to introduce one nodes so therefore we know that one node two okay in this manner one two three four and five nodes so therefore elements would be one two three and four so let us start so we will go to abacus back and we will make the parts in that manner we have selected so let us select zero comma zero so we have selected the first part now the second part we have to select and the second part we have to see the distance so the second part is at six comma zero so another part has been created then the third part would be nine comma 
0 so the third part would be created and then 12 comma 0 and then 19 point 5 comma 0 so you have to connect so you have to extend it anyhow we should choose just a minute escape we have to do sorry for that we have to start again So we will choose from isolated points. Let's start zero comma zero origin. The second point would be at distance six comma zero. Then the third point would be nine comma zero. Then twelve comma zero then nineteen point five comma zero and we have to connect all the nodes So we will start with the parts. So first we will make the part and we have taken 2D planner and all. Let us select it at T. Continue. We will choose the point 0, comma 0 origin. Then the second point would be 6, comma 0 third point would be 9 comma 0 fourth point would be 12 comma 0 then 7 19 point 5 comma 0 so we have made all the points so let us just connect done so our part is over now we will go to the property and we will feed the property here so we will go to mechanical and then elastic so we will give the Young's modulus value P and we can give it 25 e 11 poison's ratio we are considering 0 we are considering the Euler Bernoulli beam we have no deform shear deformation is there so the assumption of the Euler Bernoulli beam is there that no poison's ratio are acting there so it's over okay now we'll go to create section 
we'll select beam we'll continue we'll go here and we will just select a rectangular section continue so we will just select A is equals to 0.4 and B is equals to 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.2 or we can see A is 0.3 and B is 0.4 okay okay then we will assign the section select the regions to be assigned so done we have selected the regions okay now we will assign the beam orientation so select done enter okay then in the next step we will go to assembly we'll just make it okay the next step is a step where we will just make the load as a static general so we'll continue okay now we will come to before that we will just see here what is the history request manager we will just edit what is the ok stresses strengths which strengths are there elastic strain components and the displacement what we are required ut ur so these are the strengths and forces action forces reaction moments and shear force okay okay dismiss now we will go to load so now it is the create load so we will create the load case here so we will see what the load case here so first one is the moment acting at 6 meter in the clockwise direction so first of all we will select a moment we will give the name moment and we will continue where it is at 6 meter distance so here we will click it and done and the moment is minus sign because it is acting in the clockwise direction and the magnitude we can see it is 300 newton meter so 300 newton meter okay so we can see a moment is acting here now the next load acting is a point concentrated load acting at a distance 9 meter so the next load is a concentrated force force continue at a distance 9 meter done acting in the downward direction minus what is the magnitude So 2000 Newton. So it is 2000. Follow the nodal rotation. Okay. Then next load is we can see from the problem. The next load is the distributed load, which is acting seven at a distance seven point five meter. Okay. So the distributed load. So we can see it's a pressure. So continue, which is we can say UD 
UDL UDL continue surface we have to choose so this is the surface done so that's acting in the downward direction so we'll choose magenta enough magnitude 150 I think 150 150 done so distributed load now so create the boundary condition so we will create the boundary condition now let's see the left side boundary condition is hinged so we will just left end left hinge so displacement and rotation here we will just hinge that so select the boundary condition so we will select this done so we know in hinge support vertical translation and horizontal translation are zero otherwise rotation is possible there so we will hint two things now the next create boundary condition which is a right end fixed here that is climbed or fixed so right end we will just continue so here we will see we will select first the region so this is the region where right end is fixed done so it is asking that whether u1 all zero because no rotation and no translation are possible there at fixed end so it is fixed already here it's shown that fixed so we can see the concentrated moments acting at this place uh, concentrated forces and udl forces are acting right end is fixed and left end is hinged here so we have made that portion now we will go to the next part so here let's come to mesh so we'll click here on mesh so dismiss we will again go to part again we will click here and we will go to mesh we will just come here and we will just 0.3 apply ok now we will come to mesh part we will just ok and now come to this which is assign the element type so we will assign the element type select the regions so these whole regions are that so we will just done so one thing we know that we are just having a beam where geometric order is linear which is Langrage polynomial whereas the field variables or the displacement is cubic um, because harmonic polynomial functions so cubic formulation due to the Euler Bernoulli beam assumption okay so select the regions to be assigned is done and now we will go to the job part and we will just create a job continue ok and let's check the data so it's start checking it will take some time So the check is complete now we will submit okay so let us see how long will it take so data is also completed data check now we will see the results so the results are shown here you will just see the deformed shape and you can see the deformed shape are here you can zoom it so the deformed shape of the beam is as shown here and we can also draw the deformed shape of this beam here we know 
that here when the concent when the concentrated moments would be acting here so it will just rotate it try to rotate and here a load is acting here of 2000 newton so it will just take it to the downward side so it will just make it downward and here the load is also acting in the downward direction so here our at this position we can just uh, make a rough estimation so it is our hinge support and it will just lift upward clockwise so it will just try to lift upward somehow will bend here somehow it will show so let us see sorry now back us so the load is much heavier than the moments acting so therefore it is just taking in this way so the deformed shape here we can see it is this end where it is hinged so displacement is zero but rotation there is the slope here but here we can see that at the right end that this this is the horizontal and uh, here the slope as well as the displacement both is zero so now we can just uh, have the post processing here so we can see the reactions also so reaction is RT is the transverse reaction so it is the vertical reactions at this end and as well as at this end so at right end where that red is shown to 2.357 into 10 to the power 3 newton and the left end we can see this color so it is almost of this color so it is in between this which is up to 5.89 to power 10 to power 2 it is the vertical reaction at this place so the right also moments because at the fixed end there would be the reaction moment so rm3 so we can see at this end there would be reactions so reactions would be here that is minus 9.94 2 into 10 to power 3 newton meter so this would be the reaction induced at this end and the right end so here we have just completed so thank you